Hello everybody, hope you're doing marvellously well. So, you may have noticed over the last month or two that we've been posting some of these videos of me playing Lady Amps and Fox Amps, and we did a video in a castle. We also did a video with Rev, and we've done lots of fun things, and they all share the same tag, which is hashtag TGU19. What was TGU19? Well, it was the Gearhead University put on by the lovely people of Toman in Trebendorf in Germany. And it was a heck of a lot of fun. It was also an incredibly busy time because my wife and I flew to France to go and visit the Focal factory. And we went to uh, Paris, to uh, Lyon, and Lyon to Saint Etienne, and then Saint Etienne to Bourbon Lancy, and then back to. Anyway, we did all of that, and then we got on a plane and flew to uh, Nuremberg, and then came from Nuremberg all the way down to the Toman factory. It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. There were some incredible YouTubers there. I'm sure some of them are very, very famous, and you know who they are. People like, of course, the rather wonderful, good friend of mine, Mr. Pete Thorne was there. There was the very famous Mr. Paul David, so you know has a massive channel. There was the Samurai Guitarist, who also has another massive channel. There were some great people, very talented people, like the bass player Jamie Lewis. Check out his channel. Uh, Mary Spender was there, who's a wonderful singer, and we did record a song, and that video is coming soon. And just, I don't want to miss anybody out, because I already have. Um, there were so many wonderful people there. Toman as well. Let me get this. Which is a fun little thing. It's a baby travel guitar. I realized I didn't really have an inexpensive travel guitar. I have the Martin, the backpacker one that you all know and love. But it became the guitar that... Uh, people would come in here and sign over to my son. So suddenly the Martin became a little bit too valuable to travel with. So I got this and I believe this is a Harley Benton and it's the really inexpensive line that Toman makes. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Plus, it's, you know, it's short scale, it's easy to travel with. And it's out of tune. Great little guitar. So thank you ever so much, uh, Toman, for this. Um, it's also a really nifty color because it's kind of greeny, not yellowy, sort of. I don't know what color it is, but I liked it. And uh, we travel with it. So this came um, back from Germany and I've been flying with it and using it. And as you know, as you probably know, if you've been watching, we're all over the bleeding place at the moment, which is wonderful and a blessing. But anyway, this is a video that's gonna have, it's the outtakes video. It is our outtake video. We're gonna introduce you to some of the wonderful people that work over there. There's a few YouTubers in there. There's some behind the scenes stuff. It's just a fun thing for a lovely Monday morning to check out. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you ever so much to Time. And we just wanted to say thank you for being so hospitable. The hotel they put us up in was beautiful. They fed us, they, they did a wonderful job. So I just wanted to share that with you and have a marvelous time recording and mixing. Please, as ever, leave a bunch of comments and questions below. And uh, without further ado, let's check out the video. Where are you going, Hewitt? Nuremberg. Why? Uh, actually, we're going to... Treppendorf, Treppendorf, Treppendorf. Vacation? <laughs> no. To see Toman. We're here. This is a beautiful hotel. Uh, Toman have gone all out to really put everybody up beautifully. I've got to be honest, the garden is gorgeous. Absolutely. We're in Treppendorf. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong in Germany. Look, there's a stately home next door to us. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Wow, they've gone all, all out to do some wonderful, wonderful stuff. And we have some goodies. We've got a Fender Newport, and this is a portable Bluetooth speaker. I'm sure we'll end up probably using that in the house with a converter. Harvey Benton have given us every guitar player's dream, like everything you would need, a little guitar player's toolkit. Really gorgeous. Thank you ever so much for that. 
And, oh, they've also supplied uh, an auto waffle. <laughs> Some candy. And zoom. This is rather nifty. So this is a Q2N. It's the camera for musicians, 4K video with superior audio. So what it's gonna do, obviously it's got stereo recording device there and then there's a little screen on the back. So that's gonna be pretty nifty. I shall try that out. So thank you ever so much. And don't forget, of course, the trip and door for beer, which my wife will be partaking of later. Okay, My name is Dominic, and it's my privilege on behalf of Toma to welcome you to TTU 19. We are extremely happy and delighted uh, to have you on the campus, creating content for the next few days. Most important, having fun and maybe a few beers a night, I guess. The entire team um, around Simeon, Julian, and where's Toby? The three guys with the, with the beard. Trapendar's answer to a CZ top, I guess. <laughs> Worked extremely hard and passionate to get their favorite and most relevant YouTube channels on the campus, as well as very important brands. And as I said, once again, thank you very, very much. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for the support. We're looking forward for the next few days to hang out with some old friends, meet some new ones, and did I mention the beers already? <laughs> Good morning. Hey, man, you right? I'm good, yourself? Yeah, good. Marvellous. You having fun? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's so epic. It's so epic. Yeah, yeah. No, that Tom and, you know, until you actually come here and experience the the scale, the vastness of the place. So, um, and so just trying to get your head around how everything fits together and yeah, no, it's, it's great, it's great. It's incredible. A, a big influence, but they sort of move down a little bit and they're just kind of a staple. Yeah, so for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I think ultimately it's Queen, Bowie and Pink Floyd for me. I was a kid and didn't know anything about amps and still don't. <laughs> I was told that AC30s are a class A amp in the way that others aren't. Now, can uh -huh. you explain it to me? Because I have no idea what that means. I can explain it to you. And um, unfortunately, I'm probably going to break a few myths uh, no, no, along please. the way. But, you know. Break some myths. Okay. So the truth is they are not class A amplifiers. Oh, okay. Um, strictly speaking, the, a Class A amplifier would be the Vox AC4 because that ah, is a single-ended, single power tube, which means that that one EL84 is doing 100% of the cycle of, of whatever waveform comes through it. Whereas AB amplifiers, in the same way that you know a Marshall Plexi is, an a, is a classic AB amplifier, you're switching the sig... Well, you're not switching, but you're alternating between one tube and another or two tubes to another two tubes. You're, the, so one half of the wave is covered by one half of the tubes and the other half of the wave is covered by the other. But the reason why people think Vox amps are class A is because 
they are basically about as bad at doing class A B amplification as you can imagine. You know, if your goal <laughs> was to make the most efficient A B design, you failed miserably with an AC30. What that means is that basically the cycle is almost covered 100% by each tube. You know, each yeah. tube is running super hard. And again, that introduces things like crossover distortion and all these things, which add to this harmonically rich uh, distortion sound. So it's a happy accident that ultimately, you know, benefits the sound. So they're not class A, they're really bad at class B, so they <laughs> might as well be class A, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You guys do? So right now what you're hearing is this stuff over here. It has built-in sur reactive load and uh, and built-in impulse response nice. speaker simulation. So super high quality digital speaker simulation essentially. Whoa. What we've got is I call it modeling the back end. You're modeling the speaker in the cab and the microphones. You know, it's not a modeler, it's modeling the back end, you know, and, you, and it's a full on tube amp. I like that sound, I like that's cool, but maybe I want it a little bit warmer, a little less edge on top. Different IR now, so different impulse response. So that's channel two, and that's a greenback impulse response, greenback in a 412. I can go to channel three, do this, same speaker, same, same impulse, but say I want something different, maybe I want to try V30. So this is V30 now. It's like, oh, that's cool, I like that. Now check this out, I can actually just store it in there. And what happens now is I've got a different IR on each channel, so it'd be like having three cabs live nice or in the studio you know all mic'd up ready to go so now i can switch channel one i got an open back channel two is a green back channel three is a v30 i want you to play what do you what shall i do just play some rock have some fun You've completely kept your English accent, and also I think God bless you. it's very English to say, I hope you're all doing marvellously well. Yeah. And did, was that intentional? No, so I did it two times in a row, yeah. when I launched my channel and got like 100 views each time. Yeah. And, and, I, and then video three, I didn't say it, and I got 10 comments, and they all were, why didn't you say it? <laughs> Warren, you've been such a pain in the ass. And I've had the choice, I would not invite you again anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. It's the best. Ah, Thanks for being here, man. Thank you. This has been amazing. It's thank a you. pleasure. Simeon is, uh, I'm sure he's very humble. He won't say he's the organizer, but he's one of the organizers yeah. and he's done an amazing job. Thank you very much. It's been absolute blast. The talk moment. Oh hey! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the lady to know, the lady to love. Cat. Hi everybody, Gregor from Base the World. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Gentlemen, are you having a blast here? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's uh, just mind boggling what's going on here. All these amazing musicians, and yeah, I'm, I have the time of my life, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's been yeah. amazing. It's been a lot of fun. 
And this is a beautiful part of Bavaria, and Bamberg's down the street, which yeah. is just one of the most beautiful places you ever go to. Yeah, I love it. Well, they, they can bring it us here more often. I, mean, it's, it's, I think so too. I think that sounds like a great <laughs> idea. These things are, um, I wouldn't say they're subtle, but they're definitely like massive drastic changes. And uh, I have a very strong theory about using the right gear from the strings to the cables, to the bass, to the player, to everything, is if you go everything just 1% better, it adds up. Yeah. Save the fills for the second half of the bridge yeah. when it gets more legato. Exactly. Maybe then I take the... Uh... Through the box. <laughs> Love to thank you guys who have YouTube channels flying in from all over the world, visiting us in our beloved T Rock City, some call it Franconia, Texas. It's been <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.